Hudson Valley Presbyterian Hospital Student Health Center right over here. Medical and psychological services. Interesting. Whoa, goodness gracious. <laughs> I heard that. This right here. There we go. So I think the bookstore is open, so if it is open, I'm gonna check it out for the first time. This ought to be interesting. Okay. This is it. Wow. This is awesome. Oh, they got some of these notebooks that I used to get. That's cool. Oh my gosh, look what's here. <laughs> they got a poster for Grinchmas. That is hilarious. This looks like it's just laying here. That's funny. That sign right there used to be in the old bookstore. That's me, Arts 101 down there. And that's Professor Rodriguez. She's still teaching it. Eric Swalstad right there, 116. He's doing screenwriting. Whoa, holy cow. That is a big pennant. I do have an LABC pennant, but not like this. Holy cow, that is humongous. The one I have is maybe a third, maybe a fourth the size of this. Good lord, that is big. How much is this? $27.95. That is a nice pennant. That is a really nice pennant. Got art supplies here. Got all these notebooks and art pads here. They do have art classes here and sometimes they have little galleries of some of the students work. Pretty impressive. Got colored pencils here. Don't know if they have any pastels. But these are definitely colored pencils. I keep thinking those are people back there. <laughs> those are the mannequins. Oh, they got a graphite stick. Or sticks, because there's multiple ones. So this is where they have like bumper stickers and stuff for LABC. They got postcards and envelopes. Notepads. I actually have a black notepad that I got for Professor Word. It's on his desk right now. You can sometimes see it in the videos. Oh my gosh, standard deviance. That is hilarious. They still have standard deviant videos. By the way, who still has a VHS player? Just saying. That's ancient learning HTML. This is probably a little outdated because HTML keeps on getting updated. I used to use those when I was in homeschool. What's this one? Film collection demo Vista. Oh wow, they got cassette tapes. That's going back. Christmas magic. What's this one? It was the night before Christmas. Libra race, is that right? Christmas Carol. These are a buck. <laughs> Was. Those are ancient. Not that I'm complaining about them selling VHS tapes or tape recorders or tape sets, but that stuff gets me excited because that's what I grew up on, literally. Ooh. Hi, how are you? What do you want? My camera? Okay. Um, excuse me, ma'am. You lost your shoe, and this one is barefoot. I believe there's a sign outside saying, please make sure you're wearing tennis shoes or shoes while in the store. That guy's not following the rules. Oh, cool. I used to have a class just like that, but it broke. It got old. Unfortunately, it got cracked or something, but yeah. Oh, no. There's a sand person right there in that case. And Luke's right behind him with Yoda. Well, guys, I just left the store, and I did get something. Look at this. They gave them to me. That's awesome, because I just started working at Universal. So, yeah, that'll make a good little display item. Sweet! So yeah, obviously that was going to be garbage because the dates are obviously inaccurate. And I just saw them laying there. You guys saw the video, right? So yeah, they let me take it. So now we're going to walk into the parking structure here. Let's take it right up the elevator because I've never actually been inside the parking structure elevator before. Going to the top level. Somebody must have perfume when they were in here. Whew. That was good. Wow, I never imagined I'd be getting a view up here. Oh, 
Nice. Never been up here before. It's the first time. How about that? Just imagine if I was taking classes here with this already here. That would have been such a cool series of vlogs, but I wasn't really vlogging for YouTube at that time. I vlogged for myself personally, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> North Gym. I took a health class there. It's the football field. So just get over a Sprite can. There's a soccer field right there. This is another gym. And over here is a high school. Now, a little trivia for you guys. This high school is Grant High School. Guess what famous TV series used the front of this high school? Believe it or not, this used to be Angel Grove High. That's right, the Power Rangers were filmed over here. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I believe Zeo, Turbo, and I don't think In Space was filmed here. But yeah, the front building of Grand High School right here was Angel Grove High School. So yep, the Power Rangers were here. Back in the early 90s, 93 if I remember correctly. Looks like a group tour here at LABC. I have no idea what they're doing over here. It looks like they might be repaving this area. The original road, yes, it did turn here, but it went straight down right here and up towards the parking lots right here. So yeah, right about where this tree is right here where I'm pointing at, it would go right past that, right through this building. And right where that walkway is, it would lead up right there to where you can turn left or either go straight there. I believe those are new students here at LABC. Good luck, guys. I still remember the day when I had my orientation here at LABC and CSUN. That was pretty crazy. I was one of those students who took a tour of the campuses, both here and CSUN. Memories. This is one of those speed limits that's like impossible to reach sometimes. It says slow, speed limit 8 miles per hour. It's like at Disneyland, it's 14 miles per hour. But you know what? At season they say 5 miles per hour. So how come they can't make it 5 miles per hour here? I don't get that. It's like when you look at your dashboard, it's like it says 5, 10, 15, 20. There's no 8. It's like you had to get between the 5 and the 10 to, reach the, to match the speed limit. <laughs> I don't know. So right behind the north gym here is the swimming pool, the Olympic sized swimming pool that I mentioned in my LEVC commercial. And for a while they used to use chlorine, but a while back they started using sea salt. And I wasn't too thrilled about that. It kind of got stuck in my hair when it dried and it just really tasted awful be honest with you. Haven't been back at that pool since then. As of right now, I don't actually know if they still use salt in the water. I think it's sea salt, but that wasn't fun. There it is. The swimming pool. One of these days, I'll be back. You can actually swim in here for a charge on the weekends, I believe. See so there, you get a membership or something, but yeah, this is an Olympic-sized swimming pool. They just need to remove that barrier there and then you're good. Oh, squirrel, 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 squirrel. This right here is the LABC Community Services Center. Again, this is one of the newer buildings on the property here. And this is relatively new because this wasn't like this when I graduated, just saying. But it does look nice with these, with these trees here. This of course is the Allied Health and Science Center. That's where I took my biology lab course along with Biology 3. I played basketball in this south gym. I remember walking out that door after my very first day in my Biology 3 class, and I was like, this is gonna be an interesting semester. Yep, it was right in this room, right here. Room 107. And this building, which has been closed for years, used to be a little snack shop. It's been closed, like I said, for years, probably since the early 2000s. Look, they used to have menus and stuff right here, but as you can see, they painted over them. Actually, it looks like plaster. Is it plaster? Yeah, it's plaster. That's where the holes used to be for the menus. They missed one, though. They got this whole area walled off. I don't know if this is going to be a wall or if this is going to be just temporary, but that used to be where the old entrance slash exit used to be. Here's the old auditorium. 
Yep. This is where they give speeches. This is where they have like special conferences. It was also in this room where I got a few of my presidential honor awards. This is also the same place where I waited to go outside to the football field before I graduated. And I was sitting right over there. President Susan Carlio. No longer the president of Valley, but she was good. Met her a few times in person. Very nice lady. Let's see how long it takes for the open the doors. Ah, open, open says of me. There we go. Yep, my predictions were correct. That's still the loudest toilet. Ooh. See, that's what happened when I was going down through there to the basement. As I was saying, that is still the loudest toilet I've ever seen or heard. It is super loud, seriously. Right over here we've got the softball and baseball fields. This really has changed significantly. This is all pretty much new. I mean, it's been up for a couple of years, but this all was in here when I was coming to LABC. In fact, the only things that were here were the grassy area right here and the baseball field and didn't have all this special netting. So anyways, I'm planning on heading home. It's getting a little late, so I think it's time to head out of here. These, of course, are the old bungalows. This is the old campus right here. And over here is Bungalow 72. That's where I took my first English course with Professor Shea right there. So far I've seen four cats. There's a fourth cat right there. Scurrying away. And big cats too. So obviously well fed. Oh, there's another one right there. Good grief, they're all over the place. Hi kitty. Hi. Hello. Here's the planetarium. There's an observatory on the other side. By the way, I just realized that I still well actually I don't remember exactly, but it's it was either this building here or the life science building where I was involved with the Earth, Space, and Science Camp. I said that it was in the Life Science Building or the Emergency Services Training Building, but I think it might have been this one instead, because I think we were in this one too. But I don't quite remember. It could have been this one too, but <laughs> it's been a long time. I was in high school when that happened. Was I in high school or junior high? Ugh. Memories. Anyways, apparently from what I've heard, classes will be starting in two weeks over here at Valley, so... Yeah, this place is going to be bustling with students, so will CSUN, but of course, I won't be here because I already graduated from both colleges, so yay. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, favorite the video, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel, The Vlog Series. And that's it. All right, end scene, and as they say in Hollywood, that's a wrap.